Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the poor Pluto. Actually, this is on the Archie Luxury. Arch I don't know which channel I'll put this video on, but I want to tell you, I had a conversation with Bear. Bear Clooney. Bear Clooney. Uh, and he, he said to me, Archie, I love you. You're always, you know, he's always taken care of me. He's always liked my content. He loves, he's a very, very enthusiastic fan. And Bear, <clears throat> he said, Archie, Archie, please, 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 can you sell off some of your Pateks and go into Rolex? And what he was specifically saying is he said, because I've got four Patek Philippe's. I've got the, the world time. I've got the annual calendar. I've got a yellow gold 5196 and a white gold 5127. And he said, Archie, Archie, the dress watch market, in, in his opinion, is dying. He said, look, get rid of two of them and get Rolex. And I got to be totally honest with you, Bear. I want to make this video and explain to you that I understand your sentiment. Bear is a salt of the earth guy. If he thinks you're doing something wrong, he will damn well tell you, which is a good friend. That's a really good friend. I've got to tell you, Bear, I've actually had a bit of a think about what you said. And... I, I got to be honest with you. I don't know if the paddock market, uh, which predominantly with the Calatravas and the complications, is is this kind of, is a dressy watch. It's a dress watch. I don't know if that market is um, going to be cactus. I think, sure, there is a lot to be said for the casualization of society, the casualization. We no longer wear neckties, do we? Do we wear neckties? I don't think we do. And I understand where Bear is coming from. And he's got a good brotherly, fatherly type hug. He gives braces and says, Arch, I got to tell you, with my collection, it's not always about the money. I think Bear's advice probably... I would say Rolex Steel Sports is rising faster than Patek Precious Metal Dress Watches. Yes, I'd have to give Bear the tick on that. Yes, he's probably right. However, I think the Patek Dress Market there, I think it is showing some really good signs there. It's got some huge potential to rebound. And I, I got to be totally honest with you. Uh, Paddock is the king, the king of watches. It's the it's the grand poobah of wristwatches. And whilst I think, you know, what what Bear has said has some merit, I don't know if I want to do that. And and let me explain. I'm in my late forties, and I really. I buy these watches for my own enjoyment. It's not like I'm buying stupid crap like Ming or garbage like that. I'm buying Patek Philippe. It's it's a highly it's the it's the brand. And even if it doesn't go up as much as Patek Rolex Steel Sports, <laughs> the thing is, I love them. They're watches that I really, really love. I love them. And yes, it's always nice for you to buy things and they go up and up and up. But at the end of the day, the Pateks I've got, four Patek Philippe's, I'd like to keep them. I really would like to keep them. <clears throat> I bought all of them pretty well. <clears throat> I all bought... <laughs> Probably the one I didn't buy the best was the 5196 because I bought that when the Aussie dollar was down and the Aussie dollar's risen and 
the US. So it, it's that's probably one I've paid a bit much for. But the World Time, I bought that years ago at a very good price. The annual calendar, I bought that back a few years ago at a great price. And the 5127, um, I, I bought that. And yeah, okay, yeah, the 5127, I swapped my Daytona two-tone Maserati dial Daytona and some money to get the 512. Okay, maybe it wasn't the smartest choice. But I love that watch. And I think for me, sometimes, yeah, the money is important. Money is important. Yes, yes, I completely get it. But I've kind of taken Bear's advice. See, I had six paddocks, six precious metal dress paddocks. And, yeah, I realized that I live in the tropics. It's a hot sweaty place quick wristwatch check rolex milgauss i i do get it and you know i i gotta tell you i i actually i actually what i did was i realized the error and i got a submariner mjt got me the sub 41 mil steel sub date and I wanted more Rolex. My friend Dave agreed to sell me an Explorer 2. And he said, he said, Arch, you can have the Explorer 2 or you, or you can have the Millie. And I said, I'll take both. I'll take both. I'll take both. Because I knew I needed to add more Rolex stock to the collection. Bear is right. Rolexes are getting harder and harder to get. He Bear, Bear is right. But the thing is, <clears throat> so I recalibrated. I had six precious metal Pateks. I sold off two, sold off two, and I put a lot of that money into my steel sports Rolexes. We're talking, we're talking the Submariner Date 41. We're talking the Explorer 2 42. The Milgals. And don't forget, I also added, I also added a man on the Viking Moon. Man on the Viking Moon Omega Speedmaster. So I actually recalibrated the collection, added steel sports on a steel bracelet. And I got to tell you, I think four Pateks, it's enough to keep the rodents at bay, but it allows me to have three Rolex, an Omega Speedmaster, Moon on the Moon, and also a Tudor, Tuna, a Tudor Black Bay Burgundy as a beater. So... I, I respect what Bear says. What Bear says, if I was looking at this from a pure financial point of view, yep, maybe sell off three of the Pateks, keep one Patek and put the money into Rolex. But it's not just about the money, it's the enjoyment I get. There's nothing that gives me a bigger smile to my face when I know the rodents don't have any Patek. I got Four Pateks. The rodents could never do that. And, you know, even that guy who drinks the coffee, rodent number two. I mean, seriously, man, he's there flogging straps and four Pateks puts him in his place. He's a bit cocky and, uh, you know, uh, it's only the midget, the, the, the midget, the pimped up midget who who uh he's buying things on credit that i can't really compete against uh like 5905s things like that but hey man that's okay i don't the midget's not really he's not really he's not he's not in the same he's not a, he's not a he's not in the same area of youtube as me so it doesn't really matter 
But I gotta tell you, Bear, I, I like your advice, you're right, but I love the paddocks. They give me a lot of joy. They make me really, really happy. They make me smile. They make me very, very happy. So I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be totally honest with you. I don't think I could sell these critters off. I wanna keep four paddocks. Three Rolex, an Omega Speedy, a, a Reverso, and a Tudor is a beater. Ten piece. So I, I do agree with Bear. When I had six, that was probably bonkers. Because I didn't have any bracelet watches, which is ridiculous considering I'm in the tropics. So that error has been rectified. And let's just see how that pans out. So, Bear, I love your advice. You're right. But, you know, it's just made me realize with Andy's passing, it's not always about the money. It's what I enjoy. I love my Patek Philippe's. And I think realistically, there's nothing to say that they can't soar like the eagles that they are. There's nothing to say. And, and it, 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 it doesn't matter if they don't, because I can't see them falling. They'll, they'll, they'll hover. They'll hover. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's Bear. Bear's very friendly. He took me aside and told me that. But, um, yeah, I love our Bear, but... I do love my paddocks still. Okay, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Hi, guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. In Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys, amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.